Today I'm breaking down my $57,000 Betterment portfolio that I started seven years ago when I invested my first $600. So Betterment is a robo-advising platform, so I don't have a choice on which stocks or bonds I own, but I will first break down what Betterment has me invested in. And then I'll talk about how much Betterment has earned me through growth and dividends, as well as how much it's cost me over the same time period. Now, as a disclaimer, the Betterment balance shows a higher number given that I'm investing for my mom. So I will be subtracting around $21,000 of her money. Now, one of the nice things that Betterment does is that it allows investors to break their investments into different goals, each of which will uh, adjust the ratio of stocks and bonds depending on their age and risk tolerance. And so goals like um, generic building your wealth will have relatively higher percentage invested into stocks, which can be riskier with higher returns, while goals like safety net will invest into more bonds which are traditionally safer with low returns. And one thing to note is that there's also a retirement goal that uses both Roth and traditional IRAs. Now, I wanna show you a typical breakdown of the investments within one of these goals. So as an example, for retirement goal, I have around $26,000, and you can see a whole breakdown here with 5.41% of the portfolio being US value stocks for small caps. And you also have things like US value stocks for large caps being around 8%, and 31% being US total stock market, 6% being uh, the mid cap, 26% uh, being international developed market, and 13% being international. Uh, and so you can see up top, uh, everything will be stocks, and on the bottom will be mostly bonds. So you, you see US inflation protected bonds as 1% almost, uh, high quality bonds around 3%, international developed market bonds around 3% as well and then international emerging market bonds as well. You can see that it's nicely grouped into stocks and bonds, and you can see it's around 90% stocks, and this will be auto-adjusted as I get closer to time age by selling stocks and buying more bonds. Now that I actually broke down what the portfolio is made up of, and now let's actually go into the numbers. And out of the $57,000 amount, I deposited almost $43,000, which means I invested nearly $6,000 every year or $500 a month. But you can see on the graph that I invested more early on up until around May 2019, which is when I started investing elsewhere. And in terms of the performance, I started off making around $3.97 on the first week off of that $600. And the return grew as high as $19,000 in November of 2022 and as low as negative $6,800 in March of 2020 during the recession caused by COVID-19. And now it's back to around $13,000, uh, where $5,200 is coming from dividends, which are basically quarterly payments made by the companies to their stockholders. And also Betterment saved me around $4,500 from tax loss harvesting, which lowers how much you owe in taxes by selling stocks that lost value. So if that doesn't really make sense, to explain it in like layman's terms, for tax loss harvesting, basically in the same way that you pay taxes when you sell stocks that grew in value, you actually get a tax cut when you sell stocks that lost value. That's how much I'm basically made with Betterment. But in terms of how much fee I paid Betterment to manage this portfolio is that I paid around $360 for seven years or around $50 a year. So for $13,000 return for around $360 is really not that bad. And they usually charge around a base of around $4 a month or $48 annually, or they actually charge around 0.25% annual fee based off of your portfolio amount. So for every thousand dollars you're invested in Betterment, you're paying around $2.50 uh, annually. Now, in terms of the return percentage, it's really difficult to calculate the exact rate of return with pen and paper, since I'm actually depositing this every month. And so according to the app, at least, the individual rate of return for this is 47% during the whole time that I've had Betterment. And so for simplicity's sake, uh, if we divide the 47% over the seven years, uh, the annual return comes out to around 6.7% annually. And honestly, pretty good for a very low maintenance app without much effort on my end besides just depositing these funds. And overall, I've had a very positive experience with Betterment, but that's just me personally at least. And so you might actually have different needs than I do. So make sure you watch this video next to know all of the upsides and downsides of Betterment. And I'll see you guys there.